1775. Never has the Chinese Empire been so widespread, so prosperous, so powerful. It is the apogee of the reign of the Emperor Qianlong. And it is from these palaces, built to exalt his glory, striking symbols of power, that the sun of the heavens governs over millions of subjects in the world's oldest empire, the Middle Empire. And yet, on this summer morning, the Forbidden City is at the dawn of certain tragic events which will shake the foundations of the Empire. Anjin, son of Moshan, by this decree we, the august son of the heavens, name you superintendent of our imperial house. Jing, by this promotion, His Majesty is expressing his total confidence in you. But beware of the envious. Superintendent, if there is the slightest problem, inform me if necessary, but use your own judgment. Enter. What is it? I implore your grace, Excellency. Why? Wang, the chief of the servants of His Majesty, has been killed in the venerated Hall of Supreme Harmony. What? Tell me how it happened. I, I was making a routine inspection. I saw him as I walked in. I'll never forget that horrible sight. And then? He was still alive, Your Excellency. Did he speak? Yes. What did he say? He uttered some terrible words. What were they? He said that death was upon us. Go on. He said he had been murdered. By whom? By the demon, he said. The demon with red eyes. And then? And then he died. Superintendent Anne, His Majesty wishes to see you immediately. Majesty, your humble servant awaits your august decision. I have read your report, Superintendent Anjing. Such an affront to the throne requires that you work quickly. Find whoever killed Chief Eunuch Wang. You have until sunset. Here's a career that might come to a brutal end. Named Superintendent in the morning, dismissed, and probably banished in the evening if I can't shed some light on this incredible murder. Well, let's begin at the beginning, at Wang's house. Uh, may I help you, Your Excellency? I'm looking for Wang's office. Wang's office is at the end of the hall, to your left, and the first door to the right. Your Excellency, I am Chief Ma, and I am taking over the functions of the late Chief Wang. Speaking of Chief Servant Wang, have you seen him this morning? No, I am sorry, Superintendent. Do you know of anyone who might have spoken to Chief Servant Wang before he left the palace? Ask Chao, who is just behind you, Your Excellency. He worked directly with Wang. How may I serve His Excellency? Do you know of anyone who had a reason to kill Chief Wang? No. Did Chief Wang act strangely in the last few days? No. Did he say or do anything out of the ordinary? Yes. Chief Wang sent me to the August Elder yesterday to request an audience. Why? Unfortunately, I don't know. Go to the palace of the Honorable Empress Duarriere and request an audience on my behalf. Your Excellency, 
The August Elder is not in his palace. He has gone to the Imperial Gardens. In that case, go over to the Gardens and request an audience with her on my behalf. The August Elder has agreed to see you, Your Excellency. Good. With His Excellency's permission, may I humbly remark that the Gardens are only open to members of the Imperial family and their servants. All others need authorization from His August Majesty. You're right, of course. I will pass by the Office of Interior Petitions and request His Majesty's permission to enter the Gardens. Would you inform His Majesty that I have obtained an audience with the Honorable Elder, who is now in the Imperial Gardens? I request authorization to enter. I will see to it, Superintendent. His Majesty has granted you permission to enter the Imperial Gardens. Here is your new authorization. What do you want, Anjing? I come to greet you, Master, at the outset of a very difficult investigation. You are far too humble, Anjing. You are one of my best students. Nobody is better equipped to solve this affair. Then you know what it is about. Come now. You didn't expect an affair of this nature to remain a secret. And that is why you must act quickly and eliminate this affront to the throne. I'm well aware of this, Master. I needn't remind you what fate awaits you should you fail. I shall help you as much as I can in fulfilling your task. My sincere thanks, Master. How is your investigation going, Superintendent? It is not for you to ask, Prince. But... There are no buts about it. You may leave if you wish, Anjing. Forgive me, Your Excellency, but you may not enter the Imperial Gardens without His Majesty's authorization. Your Excellency? The Venerable Empress Duarriere has accorded me an audience. Let me pass. Your Excellency knows I cannot let him through without Imperial authorization. His Excellency may enter and go wherever he wishes. Venerated Mother, may Buddha's infinite compassion be with you, and may your health flourish. Very diligent superintendent, 
I have just been told that His Majesty's devoted chief eunuch has gone to the bosom of Buddha. That is correct, venerated mother. The chief eunuch of His Benevolent Majesty was found lifeless in the Hall of Supreme Harmony. He was assassinated, and I will try to shed light on this crime without delay. May the criminals be punished, and may our palace rediscover its serenity. That is my most fervent wish. But let us get back to the matter at hand. I have here a paper which will undoubtedly assist you in your quest for justice. Since not long ago, His Majesty's chief eunuch gave me a sealed envelope. His wish was that it not be opened while he was alive. I respected that wish. Now that the chief eunuch is dead, I shall give it to you. Forgive me, but may I ask Her Majesty a few more questions? You may, Superintendent, if it will help you discover the truth and re-establish order. What did Wang tell you when you received him? Very little. He simply gave me this sealed letter as a testament. Nothing more? No, nothing more. Did he appear nervous or frightened about something? No, on the contrary. He was perfectly calm. Thank you, Your Majesty. I would like to know one more thing, Your Majesty. Yes, what is it? Why did Wang give you this document? I suppose, Superintendent Enjing, you want to know why Wang gave his testament to me. It is quite simple. Wang was one of my devoted eunuchs before entering the service of His Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Inform His Majesty that the investigation into the tragic death of Chief Eunuch Wang is progressing. The Chief Eunuch gave a sort of testament to the Venerated Mother, indicating the place where he hid his secrets. I shall inform His Majesty, Superintendent. I bear a heavy secret which must now be revealed. Your Majesty will understand, I hope, that I cannot write everything down for everyone to read. The Bodhisattva of Compassion will guide you. The five in front, red after blue, will reveal the secret. Tell me, Chief Ma, what do you know about Chief Servant Wang? I don't understand what His Excellency means. Did you notice anything strange about his behavior? No, absolutely nothing, Your Excellency. Master Wang was always diligent and efficient in his work, and I don't think the sire of 10,000 years found any fault with him. Did Wang do anything recently that could have aroused suspicion? Uh, no, of course not. Chief Wang was a model of honesty. You can speak without fear. Wang is no longer with us, 
and you will not be reprimanded for anything you say. Unfortunately, I have nothing to add about Wang. If he did anything wrong, rest assured, I know nothing about it, or I would have reported it immediately. Do you know where Wang kept his statue of Bodhisattva? In one of his pieces of furniture, I imagine. had a number of qualities, too many undoubtedly, in the eyes of evil gods. A demon acting ruthlessly within the walls of the sacred palace has given me these qualities and has forced me to become his accomplice. Who is he? I do not know. But if Buddha wishes to show me compassion, then my three next confessions will enable him to be unmasked, and justice will be done. The solution is the center. Superintendent An, His Majesty has informed me of the seriousness of the events which are disturbing the peace of our sacred palace. I would therefore like to know how your investigation is progressing. It is progressing as well as can be expected, Great Counselor Yu. I see. Then it is too soon to make a judgment. That's correct. Before making any judgment on the true nature of this case, I must first verify the words of the dead eunuch. Then it could be more than just a simple murder. Yes, it could very definitely be more than just a simple murder. Master, my investigation has once again led me to you. A new element has appeared. What sort of element? What do you think of this text, Master? What do you expect me to think, on Jing? Wang confesses to crimes, but he does not specify them. What can one possibly deduce from such a text? What do you think of this, Master Wei? It looks like a portrait of me. Remarkably executed. And the game of Go? Yes, I have the same one here. Where did it come from? From the Palace of Spiritual Nourishment, I believe. That is precisely where Chief Eunuch Wang worked. May I see the game of Go? Why, of course. Might I know how your investigation is going, Superintendent? It is not for you to ask the Superintendent that, Prince Young. There are no buts about it.
pride was my undoing. I copied the works of the ancients and others to perfection. The demon took advantage of this to replace the works which were under my responsibility with my own copies. The originals were left inside the gifts meant for a concubine. It was the sixth day of the eleventh month of the year, thirty-nine. The next hiding place. Pass a wet brush over the jacket. The solution is identical. His Majesty must be informed immediately. I would like your opinion on this new text by Wang, Master. You would? Really? I think you are perfectly capable of understanding it on your own. I would nevertheless like your opinion, Master. It's quite clear. Wang imitated the works kept in the Palace of Spiritual Nourishment, the residence of our Honorable Monarch. Someone stole the originals and replaced them by Wang's copies and the originals left the palace hidden inside the gifts meant for a concubine. What can I do to find these works? An Jing, this is not my investigation. You must know, however, as a superintendent, that ledgers exist, kept in the imperial house in which all movements are recorded. Thank you for your infinite patience, Master. Master, may I request your opinion of this document? Of course, Anjing, but I don't know what I can tell you about it. You must first find the original works, if you wish to find the other hiding place. As for the rest, the drawing seems to represent a button on a gilded door. There are some gilded doors in the Forbidden City. May I use your office to solve the little problem posed by Wang? Yes, of course. There is a brush and water which you may use. Thank you, Master. Inform His Majesty that the investigation is progressing. I have found a new confession by Wang. See that His Majesty gets a copy for examination. Yes, immediately. Excellency, His Majesty has ordered you to verify the words of the eunuch Wang. May our honorable sovereign be assured of my speed and devotion. <laughs> 